Hey everyone, it's Anthony. We're here at the Touchboard's office to show you the Enoflex AB280. Uh, this is part two of our video. I'm going to show you some of the really cool things that it can do. So just to review, the Enoflex AB280, right here in front of you, it's this board. Uh, this is two 96 inch diagonal Eno boards put together. We've got a pen tray running the full width as well as a tack strip across the top. Uh, this is an Eno board, so it uses an electronic pen. And you get one of these pens with the board. You can use up to four. Now, uh, this board, it's over 14 feet wide. It can be used as one gigantic whiteboard, or you can split it up. And I'm going to show you how that works. So what we have here is a PC running a dual monitor setup. This is the main screen, and this is the extended desktop. And you can use the board, like I said, as one giant whiteboard. So I have mouse control. I have mouse control over here. I can open up a program or a window of some kind. It doesn't really matter what it is, but I open it up. And just like a computer with two monitors, you can drag it up to the next monitor, or you can bring it back, keep it in between, however you want to do it. And when the board is configured like this, whatever you do on one icon strip happens on both sides. So I can be over here and go into whiteboard mode and both boards go into whiteboard mode. So I can draw and just cross over the divider onto the second board. If I change colors, it's going to happen on both sides. So I'm going to write in red, cross over and still be writing in red. I want to clear all, clears all from both, go back to desktop, we're back live desktop on both sides. Now as you can see each of these boards has its own icon strip. They are magnetic just like the regular Eno board so they can be placed anywhere you want. You could put it in the middle of the board, you could put it on the side. I like it down here because it's out of the way. And the other way, the way I suggest using this board is to go into settings and set it up as two separate boards. So you have board A and board B. This is A, that side's B, and we're just going to set them to work off of their own icon strips. Set A to A and B to B, and I can still open windows and move them across uh, the screen. None of that's changed. I still have full control over everything. What's different now is that, you see I have this Excel spreadsheet over both monitors, but if I come over here to side B and go into whiteboard mode, only side B goes into whiteboard mode. So I can write like so, but when I cross over to A, it's mouse control again. So I can move this back over here. And this allows you to do some really cool things. So I'll show you, I'll show you here. If we go back into whiteboard mode and you had more than one pen, you can have two people writing up here simultaneously in different colors. So as you see here, I'm writing in red. Over here, it's also in red because that's the last one we used. But now I can change to black and it's going to be in black. Over here, still red. So you can actually draw black to red, black to red totally flawlessly across both boards. Uh, so you can just take notes, you can have two people working at the same time, uh, and you can even split the board up and do totally different things. And that's what I want to show you now. Uh, so you know, I can have the spreadsheet open here, we can talk about sales figures, look at it on this side, and then over here we can come up with ways to increase sales next year. Um, we can pull up pretty much anything else. I can show a PowerPoint over there, and we can write, write notes, look at it on this side. I can keep my PowerPoint going, and I can pull up a video. And I can watch a video on the other side. Just like that. We can watch a video about a subject, we can look at the PowerPoint about it, and we can even take notes while we're doing both of those things. So, you can really multitask with this board. It's very cool. Um, something else I want to show you, and this is a more specific uh, application. Let's say uh, a town government or 
county, city, whatever, but government, you can go and plan for uh, emergency situations. You know, we can look at weather radar right here. So we can go ahead and on the other side, take notes and come up with a plan for a storm, which we could be looking at on this side. We can drag our video conferencing over here have your WebEx window or whatever you're using over here. Look at this over here, you can come up with a plan. Uh, you can use it for first responders and police. You can look at maps on this side, write stuff on this side, come up with lists, plans for activities, uh, emergency situations. Uh, police can even map out patrol areas over here if they wanted to. So you can look at a map and you say, you know, we're going to patrol this area here. Uh, of course, it's better if it shows up in red. <laughs> so, you know, you can do that and map that out. You can zoom in and out. So let's say you're, you're planning an activity and you need to put uh, officers out on the street for crowd control or whatnot. You can just zoom in using the map. You say, you know, here's the touchboards building right here and they're going to rate it or something. <laughs> uh, so as you can see, there's just a lot that you can do with this board. And when you get into an educational setting, well, you can pull up your favorite Windows app, something like uh, Planets 3D. Apparently Windows doesn't want to work. We can cut this part out. So you can pull up your favorite Windows app and we can have that running on one side and then we can come over here and we can write about planets on this side. So let's say I'm going to write in red. Could talk about Mercury, come up with some facts which we see on this board. We can then switch over to Venus and now we can talk about Venus. We can go to the next planet, which is Earth. And we can go to another page, and we can write about Earth. So as you can see, this is, this is our live computer. It's moving, it's the way it's supposed to be. And over here is just a still whiteboard that we can write on. And when you're done, you, this goes back to your live desktop. There you go. Now, there are some other really cool things you can do for education. Uh, because this is a true marker board, you can draw on it with dry erase, like so. You can write on it with a permanent marker, and you can clean that up. So something that I think is really cool is, uh, let's say, math, uh, science class, music class. Uh, you can have some lesson content up on the board. So for instance, right here, I have a lesson about plotting points on a graph and an XY axis. I'm gonna write with a Sharpie, permanent marker. I can come up over here. I'm just gonna make this side a blank white screen. And now I can draw this graph. I can draw a number line. I can even draw staff lines or alphabet lines. You can use your icon strip as a straight edge. You can just put that right there and draw your line. You can move it down, draw another line. Now this is permanent marker, as I said, so this isn't gonna go away. So what's really cool about that, again, you can clean this, so it does go away, but right now, it's up there. No matter what I do electronically with the Eno pen, it stays. So you can have a student come up and say, plot point five two, and they can go ahead and count out and up, and they can draw that dot right there. Then you can say, great, okay, let's clear the screen, have another student come up, and they can plot their point right there 
clear the screen, have someone else come up and draw a curve. Whatever you want to do. This line you drew, that graph, stays. You can use a number line. You could hand the pen to a student and say, from zero, count up by three. So great. Zero, three, six, nine, and so on. Great, they did a good job. Let's clear the screen out. Say, okay, the next student, start with number 20 and count up by fives. Okay, 20, 25, 30, and so on. That line stays there, so you can just keep on using it. One of my favorites is the triple line over here because in your lower grades, you can have a student come up and write the alphabet. Stay within the lines. Can write A, B, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Now you just clear it out, have another student come up and they can do their thing. Or music class. I'm not a musician, but you can draw your notes right on there. And you got your staff lines. And those are going to stay. You can draw them across the whole board and keep them there. Works on either side, so you can have your lesson content on one side, and you can have your students working on another side. And again, it is permanent marker, but you just get some whiteboard cleaner and a good cloth, and you'll be able to clean it right up. We can spray that on there, and it's going to come right off. Not going to harm the board at all. Use dry erase markers, it comes off just as easily. So you can Right with dry erase, you can erase that. Permanent marker will stay. However you want to do it, it's entirely up to you. Another thing that's really cool, how many times at the end of a class, at the end of a meeting, somebody walks up to you and starts asking questions? That's a good thing, right? You want that. But you're in the, in the front of the room, you can't write things down, or maybe you want to work something out. Well, it's a marker board, so you could be using it electronically all you want, and you just grab a pen and start writing on it. Great. And when you have the projector on, it actually makes the ink lines show up even better on the board. So tons of different uses for this thing. I can only come up with a few, so you're going to be able to come up with a lot more than I am. Let us know. When you get one of these, let us know what you can do with it, because I want to know. It's really cool. It's really impressive. Again, this is the Enoflex AB280 double whiteboard, one of the coolest new whiteboards out there. So if you have any questions, give us a call at 866-942-6273. Thanks.